Did you know that over 90% of gamers admit to feeling some level of gaming addiction? Yeah, that's a staggering number. And I'm not just here to throw statistics at you. I'm going to share my personal journey to show you how PUBG ruined my life. And trust me, it's not clickbait. So, let's dive right in. For those who don't know, PUBG, or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, is this super popular battle royale game that everyone seems to be playing. I mean, it's fun, right? But it also turned my life upside down in ways I never expected. Today, I'm going to talk about how this game went from being a casual pastime to a full blown addiction that impacted my relationships, work, and health. Presentation of problem slash challenge, alright, let's get real. When I first started playing PUBG, it was all about fun and excitement. I would jump into matches with friends, and it felt like we were conquering the world together. But then, things started to change. I found myself prioritizing the game over everything else. My friends? No longer hanging out IRL. My job? Let's just say my boss wasn't thrilled about my constant absences. And my health? Well, let's just say that late night gaming sessions turned into junk food binges and no sleep. I started neglecting everything important in my life, all because I wanted to be the last one standing on that battlefield. Exploration slash development, as time went on, my relationship with PUBG grew more toxic. Sure, there were those thrilling moments when I'd secure a chicken dinner, and the adrenaline rush was unbeatable. I was on top of the world. But then there were the lows, the endless cycle of matches, the frustration of losses, and the way I'd stay up way too late, telling myself just one more game. My daily routine was shot. I'd wake up exhausted, barely making it through work, and then dive right back into the game. It was like being stuck in a hamster wheel. The highs felt amazing, but the lows? They were crushing. I was caught in this cycle of temporary highs and long-lasting lows that drained me emotionally and physically. Climax slash key moment, then came the moment that changed everything for me. It was my best friend's birthday, and I had promised to be there to celebrate with him. Instead, I got sucked into a PUBG match that went on for hours. I kept telling myself, just one more game. But by the time I looked up, it was way too late. I missed the entire celebration and all the fun that came with it. The feeling of guilt hit me like a ton of bricks. I realized I was choosing a game over my friends and the people I cared about the most. That was my wake-up call. I had to confront the reality that this game was taking away moments that I could never get back. Conclusion slash summary. So, in the end, what did I learn from all of this? PUBG taught me a lot about balance. It's okay to enjoy gaming, but when it starts to take over your life and affect your relationships and health, it's time to step back. I realized that I needed to find a healthier relationship with gaming and prioritize the people and responsibilities in my life instead of letting a game define my existence. Call to action, CTA, now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever experienced anything similar with gaming? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to hear more personal stories and gaming content, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and remember to game responsibly.